This here is kind of part two of the flame test demonstration. Uh, talking about the flames and looking at all of them uh, one at a time is neat and very informative, but uh, nowhere near as cool or dramatic as what I'm about to do. I have all my salts moved very close together, and I'm going to pour the methyl alcohol here across each of them. Uh, theoretically, uh, this will when I light one, all the others will catch on fire as well because of their close proximity. Uh, my students the other day when they saw me sitting this one up actually said it kind of looked like I was a bartender, and they were quite impressed when I lit the salts and they all caught on fire. Now, the blue color there you're seeing, of course, is the alcohol, but if you take a close look, over on the right-hand side we have just plain alcohol, then we have our barium salts uh, there giving us the yellow-brown color, then we have boron being the green color, our strontium being the bright red color. The next one's not showing up too well, but that there is our calcium, uh, I believe. Uh, the color's not showing up real well, so I'm not real clear on that one. The next one is our... Um, the next one is definitely our calcium. Uh, I'm not sure what that middle one is. Uh, the calcium here is showing up as an orange color. Uh, the next one is our sodium giving us a yellow color. Not a lot of sodium salt left there or alcohol left there, so that one's burning out already. The next one then is our copper, and our last one then giving us the lilac flame is the potassium. So still burning right now, very strong. Over on the right is the plain alcohol and the barium salts, followed by, again, boron giving us the beautiful green, strontium giving us the bright red, uh, lithium here showing up as the bright uh, uh, colors of hot pink. Again, I can't remember what salt I have down down here, but it's not showing up very well. Uh, down on the end, our copper is almost out, and our potassium is still going fairly strong uh, as we finish this one up. Uh, but a neat demonstration about the uh, properties of certain elements, uh, and of course, this is, although a neat demo does have a lot of real-world applications. Those real-world applications include things like fireworks, uh, signal flares, um, uh, special effects in Hollywood certainly occasionally use things like this, not always. Uh, a lot of the times nowadays it's just yeah. computer generated. But these here are uh, um, used in special effects. Uh, this is also previously how many elements were discovered. There have been times uh, where uh, large amounts of elements were discovered because of uh, their flame tests. Now we've discovered all naturally occurring, we think at least, uh, elements. And so this isn't used for that anymore, but it is used to identify elements in unknown compounds.